Okay. So last time we discussed um, the continents of Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America. So we, I think we ended in South America. We weren't able to discuss, oh no, Africa. We were not able to discuss Australia, Oceania, and Antarctica. So we will continue here, very short lang. And then I will give the pointers for Wednesday. Um, hopefully you will make use of the time to study, ha? Kay, nyo ba ubay pa lang ato ang exam? Okay, so this is um the sixth continent. No, we were done with Asia, Europe, North America, South America, and then Africa. So Australia is actually one of the smallest um, continents in the world. It's both a continent and a country. No, and it is actually found near Oceania. So Australia is the smallest of the seven continents in the world. Like what I've said, it's both a continent because it's a huge piece of land and also a country because it, um, this continent doesn't share any country no, or another country with, with the, within the continent. No, Australia, Australia. So its climate varies from tropical in the north and very temperate in the south. There are some places in Australia that is very hot. There are also places in Australia that is very cold. No, and it depends on the location of each city. No, within the country. So makita niyo sa map, pras kaninas mga purple. These are ranges. Um, indigo. I think this is indigo. So uh, those who are covered in indigo are filled with hills and valleys. No. And then plateaus and table lands, ang naasa may blue, and then ang white part, or ang light green, magkaronisha, sage green, is plains and dune lands. So usually, nadira ang um, like, mga deserts or dry lands. So what can be found in Australia? So we have the Australian outback. No, so regions where vegetation is found because most of the areas are covered by deserts or semi-deserts because there is um like very small vegetation. No, so kung malantaw ni mo diri class sa map, again, no? So equatorial is ang um, part na sa Western and South Australia. On tropical, so the Kankeg vegetation is more on the north, no? The Northern Territory is above the Northern Territory and then on subtropical, so a mix of like dry and vegetation is na sa Northern Territory and Queensland. Ang desert jude class, no, is oh, sorry, equatorial is this one day. Eh? Ang desert is Western Australia and South Australia, meaning it's either very dry or na ay gamay pod nga vegetation, but much more drier than the subtropical areas. And ang temperate is colder, no. So na asiri sa obos like in Victoria, no near South Wales, all New South Wales and Tasmania. So very colder ang ilahang uh, temperature compared to those are found in Western, or South, or in the Northern Territory. So we also have the Great uh, Dividing Range. So long mountain chains that run from north to south along the eastern coast of the continent. So if you can recall the map earlier, there are ranges here. So some of that is covered, no, some parts of Australia is covered with mountains, no? So if we are going to look at their dividing range, which comprises of like rivers, no, or for example, like mountain ranges, well, not just bodies of water, but even like big mountains, no. So makita ni mga, there are plenty of that in Australia. So those are covered in light blue or coastal rivers. There are a lot of coastal rivers. Inland rivers are in the darker blue. And then ang low flood hazard, meaning naaman sila sa ko, ano, they're not really near bodies of water, so there's low flood hazard. Well, great dividing range are those mountain ranges that can be found in um, Australia. So na-extend from the north. 
no? Down to Melbourne. So, kan na siya covered with or divided with mountain ranges. Okay. So, let's now proceed to Oceania. Oceania are, you know, smaller islands that is near Australia. So, there are three island groups in Oceania. You have Micronesia, Melanesia, and Polynesia. So, this is Micronesia. This is Melanesia. And this is Polynesia. So, very tiny islands lang should, no? May iba nilang island na magtuldok. Tiyan mo makita, no? Ang pangalan na imong makita, dira, you know? And... These are actually filled with um, different natural resources, no, and very open to the Pacific Ocean. So, what are the different countries that is found in Oceania? No? So, Australia is part of Oceania, but it's not um, a continent, no, or ang Oceania. It's more of like a, re a region. Okay. So, you have American Samoa, Christmas Island. Micronesia, Fiji, French Polynesia. I know some of these are actually kind of part of the UK. Now, that is why you can often see like smaller versions of the flags of the UK. Because if, if you are a fan of the crown or even the life of Koano, nga, most of the monarchs in the UK usually visit in Australia. No, you have Queen Elizabeth during the time that she was still a princess, no? And even Princess Diana and Prince Charles. No, they oftentimes visit Australia because Australia is somewhat of like a part of <clears throat> is a part of UK. Okay, so you have French Polynesia, New Zealand, Fiji, Nauru, Kiribati, Indonesia, Guam. I can't read this. If this is Hawaii. New Way, Norfolk Island, Nor Norfolk Island, Palau, Papua New Guinea, Rapa Nui, Samoa, Chicos Island. I can't just see this. So, this Nook or <clears throat> Island, Marshall Islands, Northern Mariana Islands, um, Pecarian Islands, Solomon Islands. So, Tokele, Tonga, Tuvalu, Vunautu, and Wa Wales, and Futuna. Some of these are actually the smaller islands that you see just beside Australia or just nearby Australia. Now, this is Antarctica, no? the bottom part of the globe. And, of course, the last continent in the world. So, it is located in the South Pole. It's the fifth largest continent in the world. It is larger than Europe or Australia. And it has no permanent population because of its temperature. No, It's quite cold there. Only a few people usually survive in Antarctica. And most of the people that visit there are like scientists no, or geologists or you know, those who are part of like national geography or discovery channel or they would like make um documentaries baron <clears throat> so what you usually see in antarctica are polar bears no and it's quite alarming now given that our current climate nowadays no and you know the icebergs big icebergs are melting off in antarctica and that could really um rise the sea level and that could also mean um, the polar bears being endangered no? because they live on this ice and they don't actually get to spend a lot of time in the water because not only that it's cold but there are not you know unlike otters baron or platypus no? they can survive for long hours in the water they actually can't no so th th that is their, their like natural habitat no so Oh, quite alarming. So in Antarctica, you would see a lot of polar bears. And the Antarctic desert is the largest desert in the world. Kung ma'am, abin ang desert kay person sa Sahara, ma'am. Well, the Antarctic desert is also a desert na because no life can actually grow here. Other than, of course, no, mga polar bears and penguins. But you can actually grow vegetation here. no. 
And then, vast lang of, of nothingness no nga. Wala dito siya vegetation. So, it's also considered as a desert. Okay, so, that's it, no? This is the... This is the summary of all the seven continents in the world. This is not actually the entire panga discussion, no? Because we are still going to learn... Sabakay mo, Iro, class. Kaya dali na. So we are still going to learn so much more pa no in the midterm and finals because we are going to look at each continent individually we're going to learn more about each country so kani overview lang ni siya no dili man siya ingon nga tanan jud kay kulang pa maning tanang information na kung provide so overview so <clears throat> hopefully after the exam we can start with asia no, and then we can learn more about the different countries in Asia. Maybe I will divide you according to um, regions. Like, for example, North Asia, si Koan ang report. Southeast Asia, si Kabi mo report. No, niya. Lain lain nga countries within that region so that we can start right away. Okay, so with regards to your exam, nalit na kayo tano. So, with your exam, what type of exam is na atay essay type? There are eight questions actually. And then, appeal na dito on chapter one. Katong tourist flow, spatial scale. Okay. And then, push and pull factors sa tourist flows. Um... You just kindly study everything that is in chapter 1. Mas yung pinaka-importante. Um, as much as possible, do not take your answers from the internet. Makailar ba ko, no? Kaya usay mo, basa mo ko sa yung mga answer. Everything is already there in the PowerPoint. You can just elaborate it further. And then, also, you are going to enumerate um, the 46 countries. There are 48 actually, but in the list, it's 46 um, countries in Asia and its capital city. So, only Asia lang, no, kaya basta mabuang niya mo o pangita kung apil pa na to ang Europe o ang Africa. Um, kindly familiarize all of them because after the exam, I will also ask you like, like oral recitation, jud, no, if nakasago ba jud mo sa countries in Asia and its capital city. So, tanan jud to ha, paki-familiarize lang. Kato lang, Asia lang usap. So, magawas na sa exam. Siguro, I will ask you on sa niya country, niya ako ipakita capital ra, or on sa niya nga capital, niya on sa niya nga country gikan. Okay, like for example, mo yung abi ko on sa ang capital city sa Vietnam. Or for example, um, kani nga capital is Jakarta. On sa niya nga country nagbilong. Oh, so yung ana. Okay? And then, also, try to familiarize the world map and the location of all the seven continents. So, same as you can see field geography, so you can locate the different uh, regions sa una, no, sa first year. But it's more on the ano lang, continents. The seven continents lang usa. Unya rataan ng koan, kay kung humanta sa Asia, kung ipa-identify ang countries sa within the continent of Asia. So, if familiarize lang sana ninyo, ha? Kana ra ato ang exam. So, kindly study the entire chapter 1. And then for chapter 2, just familiarize the countries in Asia and its capital city and also the placement of the seven continents of the world within the world map. Okay, that's all. More should not see, Questions? Do you have any questions before we will end? Wala radam. Okay, so okay, so can you settle your accounts before the exam because the treasurer's office will be closed during that day. Um, if you feel na medyo alanganin, palihog rako o isa kadal lang ha. Okay, sorry. So, 
for your exam, if medyo alanganin mo, no, palihog ko, okay, okay. chat mo good si mama lo. Palihog ko o kuan class himo og promissory if medyo alanganin. Ha? Pero kung makabayad raman mo, bayad na lang mo daan kaysa magtapok na tanan may mo na lang 3 si mil. Samtang 4 pa, inyo nang isettle para dili kay bugat inig ka end of the sem. So, if medyo alanganin kay 15 pa inyong sweldo niya, 15 pa man ang kuan, ang oh, close naman na lang treasurer's office sa 15, Pwede mo mo ka write of promissory note, just indicate there kung ano sa siya mo promise mo bayad. Ayaw pa dugaya nga maabot og midterm. Basta before midterm lang, masettle na na siya. Okay? And then what else? Um, try to ask if na ay exam permit, no? But if you would like to receive a receipt na araman dito yung resibo, no? Ato lang mo dito sa treasurer's office personally to get your receipt. Anyway, like what I've said, you can, you can look at your Um, what they call this statement of account in your CSR email, it will be emailed to you, Raman. So, more Raman na siya no, for the exam. Again, two hours ha, so I will be uploading the exam at 9. So, you can immediately answer starting from 9 to 11 a.m. Two hours na siya ang kung exam. After that, ako na dang i-close, I will not be receiving any more responses. So, since you do not have any questions, let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Good luck for the exam. See you next week. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Ay, Bye, I forgot. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Ay, so, quality service management, sorry. Ang ato ang coverage for, kadi naman dita magkita, dag Friday, no? Ang ato ang coverage for quality service management sa Friday na siya nga exam, ha? So, i-upload na ko na siya uh, 10 a.m. until 12. So, 2 hours drop po, no? Coverage is katuran chapter 1. Katong gidiscuss na ko pag last Friday, modulo siya tanan ang mugawa sa exam. So, just kindly study that. PowerPoint is in your Google Classroom tanan, ha? Wala na mo Koan, problema ato kay all is uploaded in all your Google Classrooms. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dom. Bye, everyone.